Hi. Okay, it looks like we're live. I wonder what the latency is like. Let's see. Okay. The latency is about like five seconds. <clears throat> so whatever happens here will happen, has already happened five seconds ago. Isn't that fascinating? Anyway, hi. Let's just go ahead and get started. This is stupid. So this is what I'm planning on working on today. It's a sketch that I made this morning. And, well, it is what it is. Um, I think it's kind of cool. It's just something that's been on my mind for a while, and I wanted to, to get it out of my mind. And I'm just going to run through the process of how I arrived at this pretty loose sketch. And during this stream I would like to bring this to a finished drawing and if there's time add color and maybe even some paint so this is a process that I that I enjoy which is to make a drawing first and then add color what have you everything on top of it afterwards uh, I have a gray background because well it's just easier on the eyes, really. Um, and plus, if I really wanted to get fancy, I could always add some highlights on top of everything. Look, see, it's already getting that much better. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so the idea here is it's uh, kind of a um, tough sort of lady, feminine person on top of a futuristic hover bike. Um, and so, sort of Star Wars kind of desert um, marketplace setting. Um, and like I said before, this is something that's, that's uh, it's been on my mind for a while. I thought it would be a cool idea to illustrate. So this morning, I came up with some really quick initial gesture drawings. Some very quick sketches. Obviously, this one... Uh, this one I didn't choose because it focused a lot more on the bicycle because um, you can see that the perspective is pretty is pretty intense so you know and then you know here's her little head and everything and her body leg so if if the bicycle is is that much larger than her then it, then it would you know draw the focus away from her, which is the main character, not the bicycle. So I tried another, and this one was getting a little bit closer. Um, whoops, I did not want to do that haul. Uh, and you know, so here you can kind of see her silhouette. She's sitting on the bike. Um, but again, I wanted I wanted some, you know, something kind of like this. You know, like a a, a more interesting perspective. You know, getting some three-point perspective in there um, to make everything look a, look a little bit larger. So this didn't work out either. And then I drew this gesture, which uh, is what I ended up going with. And um, you know, you can see this kind of this sort of weight that she has here. Um, you know, implanting pretty tough into the ground. Um, here, I'm gonna use red here. And you know the bike really great perspective here um, but the bike isn't so prominent as prominent as it is here so I was having plus this nice triangular uh, perspective uh, this triangular composition while at the same time we have this cool perspective going off into the background drawing the viewers eye so on top of this, I made a like sort of like a, a form sketch, a base sketch, which allows me to block out all of the essential forms that are going to be in this. Um, because this is kind of a tough pose. Not everybody could be Kim Jong-gi and just bang this out. Unfortunately, I'm not. But... 
this is a great method to block out all of your shapes. And on top of that, I made a more, slightly more detailed, slightly a lot more detailed drawing with all of the elements that I want to be in the drawing on top of the form. So the form, the form drawing is essentially um, dictating where I place all of my objects. And you can see that some things change to the position of her head. Um, <clears throat> and then I left it in this state because uh, I think it's good to have a very finished drawing before you start painting because then you're in control. I mean, it's always it's always nice. I'm just gonna make a new layer really quick. And I'll, I'll try to, uh, not now, but I'll try to, you know, keep you aware of what it is I'm doing. I'll tell you the buttons I'm pressing and everything like that. Um, but, you know, painting the sort of, um, the sort of sculptural type painting that, you know, you might see on the web is, is always fun. Uh, but I feel like you never really have a lot of control um, with this, with this type. Of painting so you see how um, really quickly I'm getting I'm getting some nice shapes in there um, and uh, you know so there's always this type of, of approach you know so instead of having a drawing which you paint on top of you have you just start with shapes and you just run right in and with all of your spectacular knowledge of anatomy and, and what have you. Um, just bang something out and impress all your friends. But I have never been that big of a fan of this approach because it requires a lot of cleaning up. Um, and I always feel like I'm not in control. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm with this, so I'm gonna delete this layer. So with this drawing, I'm gonna draw it first and then paint on top of it. So, well, and where you're coming in is, is maybe like drawing is maybe about 50%. So that's how we ended up in this position. So now looking at it now, a few hours or about three or four hours after I did this initial sketch, I'm seeing a lot of problems, um, particularly, <clears throat> that's a tough word, particularly particularly here in the waist and that these handlebars should be higher like up here in fact and if the handlebars are that much higher it'll serve the perspective that much more so that should make the drawing look, look a lot better um, I think she's sort of missing her waist so if her rib cage is here spine should be there and her waist should be here and then her leg should connect sort of down a little bit lower. So that means that her whole body's gonna have to move up. So, oh, oh boy. All right. Let's be careful here. I don't wanna lose my drawing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll select my last O tool with L. And I'm gonna actually flip the canvas because that's a very useful technique. Uh, and I, you know, just so you know, I also have reference um, off to the side where you guys can't see it because I'm too ashamed to show the reference I'm using. Um, yeah, so I have reference. And that's all you need to know. So I'm gonna select her body. I'm just gonna move it up, sort of extending her waist about that much. And kind of zooming out, I think it looks better. And now we can open up our history little icon here. And if you don't have it, you can always go to window, jump down to history, and then click on it and it'll open up, but I already have it, so. And I'm just gonna jump back and forth between 
the two just to kind of check you know how it is the change compare the change to the previous version and yeah I like that <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take these handlebars and I'm gonna move those up much higher actually to about here maybe even more maybe even more something like that I wonder if I should just delete them no I'm not gonna delete them I'm gonna leave that the way it is and you know what before I get too crazy I'm actually going to because I'm a wuss I'm gonna save this drawing I'm gonna say sketch because if I make any changes that I don't like later on I can always go back to my previous sketch all right, so now I'm just going to flip between the eraser and the brush by pressing E and B. Eraser, E for eraser, B for brush, duh. And <clears throat> close that down. And I'm gonna select one of my favorite Kyle Webster brushes, which is just a drawing, uh, a drawing brush, or a drawing like a pencil kind of brush. And one thing I'm going to do now, since this is in the sketch stage and I'm going to start cleaning everything up, I want to change the image resolution. I want to bump it up. So I'm going to press Alt Control I. That opened off screen. Okay. So you see now it's uh, 2500 by 3100. And I'm going to bump this up to. Wow, it's almost it's almost five to one or one to five, I think something like that. I don't know ratios. Say okay. So now this will be like a nice mm, high res image. Super nice. It's kind of taking a while. Here, I'll, okay, here we go. Cool. All right, I'm going to name this sketch. I'm going to name this sketch Ori for sketch original. And I'm going to make all of these layers red. So that's that's my way of sort of saying like, OK, I'm done with those layers. I'm not using them. All right, so I don't want to zoom too close in. And Let's just start kind of drawing in her her figure here. Yeah, that looks good to me. And there's something that's not going to work about this arm because her arm would need to be this long in order to be leaning onto what this is. This is the gas tank right here of the bike. So she'd have to have a pretty long arm. So let's have her arm doing something else. Of all that mess. Finish off this line in the gas tank here. And since I'm cleaning things up, I'm just gonna try to just try to keep things nice and clean. Pull that down. Let's see, get that nice, I'm gonna get a nice curve here on this uh, which is like the sort of the word bender I probably should have did some motorcycle motor motorcycle anatomy let's see and oof. by the way if you want to rotate your image press R and then you can rotate your image like that all right that looks good and I want the bike to sort of have like this kind of 
bug like quality to it. <clears throat> okay. Like a, like a beetle. And her robe is sort of falling behind her back arm, which is supporting her like that. So maybe this arm can be. Yeah, maybe this hand can be over there. You know, so like her arm is like this. It's kind of twisting at a weird angle. Maybe her hand is here. I'm sure I like that. What if her hand was, what if you sort of split the difference and had her hand here? Maybe angle it a little bit more. It's kind of almost like what I had before. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to leave that for now. And uh, if I need to change anything, let's see, let's put her hand in like a cool, sort of like relaxed pose, just like, I don't give a fuck. Let's see. That's right, we curse. We curse when we draw. Kind of nice. I'm gonna finish off that finger and then close that. Yeah, just so we kind of get the shape. I'm gonna fill in that hip a little bit. Okay, now for the handlebars, I wanna do something very cool. Let's rotate our canvas and we can check out. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. I like that. Kind of nice. Kind of nice means nothing. All right, so I'm just going to erase where she is behind the bike and then so we can kind of get a better idea of the bike occluding her form. Occluding is a fancy term for hiding. If you don't believe me, look it up. So I wonder if the handlebar should like come out Yeah, I like that. I like the handlebar breaking her silhouette. You know, because it, it, it sort of emphasizes the fact that it's in front of her. So maybe we can just clean that up a little bit. And we'll do something like that. Those little kind of handheld ridges the handlebar. And I want to keep this nice and clean because, like I said before, a clean drawing equals a easy painting. 
and I'm I'm really not one for you know struggling with with paintings. And what I mean by I'm really not one is I don't like it. I don't like being lost in the painting stage. It makes me anxious. So the handlebar comes back. So here's the here's the difficult part right here. Um, in terms of the perspective. Let's finish that off. They're kind of like a sort of organic organic flowing form here. Very cool. And we can get that gas tank in there. And I mean, I don't know, it's some kind of, it, we're in an alien world, right? A, a different different universe with hover bikes. So who knows what kind of technology they have. But the gas canister is, is well, I mean, it's universal. Come on. Great. So let's see. So we have, that's looking pretty, pretty damn good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I just realized that if she's going to be turning, we're going to need something like this. If she's going to be turning the um, the handlebar, she needs a, a point that she can turn it on, right? So let's utilize this shape, this kind of shape that we have here and let's make that sort of the, the rotational point for the handlebars and so you see kind of you know you set up your okay so you see where I'm going with this I hope and that is, you set up your original form drawing, and from there, you sort of add the details as you need them. And you really got to stay conscious of the marks that you're making, uh, like I am now. Like that sort of little divot in there, sort of like diamond shape. <clears throat> diamond shape. Okay, and then since this is sort of behind, maybe we can just kind of give that you know the hint that that is in front. Actually, this needs to be. A lot more prominent because the rotating hinge needs to be back here, right? So get something like this Just expose the bottom a little bit simplify the shape slightly all right all right and it's a little bent <clears throat> but that's fine There's a few things that I wanted to do in here. I'm just going to kind of screw around and riff with shapes. Let's see. OK. 
Okay. And I'm just going to kind of leave things. Um, I'm going to put like, you know, I'm going to make a couple of shapes here and there and then just leave it and come back to it later. And then hopefully, you know, I'll have like a better idea of <clears throat> what to do with it. And maybe we can even add some sort of light up here. Let's see. And that first ellipse is pretty good. All right, let's do this. Just like I said before, you add what you need. Because every mark needs every mark means something, right? Hmm, I'm not sure I like that. I'm gonna get rid of it. Do 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 do. Alright. Cool, so now I'm gonna jump into her bit more. And this shoulder might be a little high. Let's see. Because hopefully you can tell she's got sort of, uh, she has a hood on, which is also sort of acting as a cloak. I said before, I'm just going back and forth between my brush and eraser. Let's clean up this in here. What's going on in there? So her neck comes down, back out a little bit. So if her shoulder's right there, then yeah, this is too high. Let's do that just to see where we are. Now, it really looks like this shoulder, or obviously, it, it, it's not that it looks like it is. This shoulder is a lot smaller than this one. I mean, if we were to measure that, you can see that this one is about that big and that one is about that big. <clears throat> so the question becomes, do we bring this shoulder in or do we extend this out? And I believe the answer is bring this shoulder in. Because if her arm is turned back, Let's see. Now it's just like kind of in the same place as it was before. Let me go back. Let's actually grab this. And I'm just gonna select it with my my lasso tool. I'm gonna bring that out. Yeah, that actually looks kind of badass. Yeah, I think that's the move. A lot of trial and error. Yeah, I think drawing for me is just nothing but trial and error.
clean up some of this mess in here. Oh. Let's do something like this. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'll leave that for now. Yeah, it's pretty interesting because now we can see more of this sort of negative space back there. And I'm going to kind of slim her down a little bit. But we don't want to miss out on her hips. Don't want to miss the hips. Now it looks like, now that we've brought that out, which I think is correct, it looks like this is even, it looks like it's even further out. So, man, let's see. Yeah. And what I'm doing when I zoom out like that is I'm looking at the silhouette more than anything because the silhouette I find is is easier it's easier to see the problems in the silhouette so I'm going to get rid of all that yeah that looks good I really like this form in there I try to Hang on to that as much as I can. So then her cloak kind of comes down like that, and her boobage. Let's see, I'll try to fix her breasts a little bit. I don't want her to be too busty. She's not like a you know, superhero. Yeah, something like that. That looks good. Yeah. I want some sort of thing on her. And we're looking up at her, so let's do that actually. And I want these bands to be around her arm. And that actually helps us. Let's make them a little wider to identify the form. And that's not why I'm adding them, it's just uh, it's more of a design choice. I've been into these into like kind of banded arms recently. I don't know, bro, it's just kind of like my thing. Cool. This is this is uh, the drawing is coming out to be a lot stronger than what it was when we arrived. So here's what it was when we arrived. Here's where it is now. Actually, no. This is what it was when we arrived. Just terrible, tiny, uh, lopsided, and now it's just this beautiful, amazing sketch. Like this drawing is just. It's just so good. It's just such a good drawing. It's ridiculous. All right. And let's kind of darken this guy up a little bit. The handlebars here. And I really want to clean that up. A lot of like stray pencil marks and the thing is um, uh, you know I don't want to clean it up too much because then if I clean up an area too much that means that I have to clean everything up 
and I don't want to have to clean everything up. I just want to keep moving. But I think I should at least figure out what the hell I'm going to do in certain areas. Because if not, then I'll just be lost when it comes time to paint things. And I do not want to be lost. I want to be found. Okay, let's make this sort of like, you know, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy schmancy for this girl. kind of tie it up in the middle. And then kind of draping down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Hope that's not too annoying. <clears throat> I hope. And maybe what kind of what kind of what's she wearing underneath here? What she got on underneath all of this? Let's see. Let's flay up. And this boot is kind of. That's better. A little bit round, a little bit more rounder. Okay. Just taking a swig of water. All right, so I have some references <clears throat> that, again, I'm going to look at. Uh, let's see. Maybe she's got, like, some kind of breathing apparatus or... Oh, you know what I kind of want to put down there? It'll be sort of difficult to illustrate. But let's see. like a tossed aside gas mask. Right? Like, you know, she's been, she's had a hard day and she just wants to take a break. So we'll leave that as it is. I think in the painting stage it might it might get kind of weird as to what that is. Mm, maybe the angle isn't totally correct. Let's see. Maybe it needs to be more like this. You can kind of get a hint of and let's see, so we're also looking up at her. Okay. And again, I'm just going to leave that. As it is, maybe I'll even um, make something simpler. Maybe, actually, yeah, maybe like a scarf. So let's go back. 
so far we can go back. Oh, not far enough. Fine. Gas mask. I don't like it. What about just like a... Yeah, like some kind of scarf. You know, it's just sort of like pulled down from her face. I think that'll read a lot better. Because one of the decisions I have to make here, yeah. Yeah, that's already reading better. Because one of the decisions I have to make is if we're looking at her all the way from back here, you know, are we going to be able to see that with all of the other detail going on? And I want this to be sort of a minor, a minor thing in here, not like a major prop piece like a gas mask. So yeah, let's just let's just have it be some sort of scarf. Scarf. Okay, it's not gonna do crazy here. <clears throat> Jump in here, start cleaning up the head. Let's zoom out a little bit. Like I said before, I don't want to be too close. Maybe we can make this a little narrower. You know, this is kind of a badass visor. She's got on because she's just crazy. Let's see. Okay, just give a hint of nose. Jaw, the neck. And actually, she's sort of looking up a little bit. So the jaw should be a little, a little straighter. Let's see. Let's just give her chin. The chinny chin chin. And I want more of these She knows something we don't And all this stuff down here is pretty good. There's one, there's a couple changes I want to make to the clothing. I don't think I'm going to get too deep into it right now. Um, the bike definitely, this area that I'm circling at the moment needs to be, I think, totally resolved before we go in and paint. Um, but, you know, there's always some decisions we can make after the painting stage. Let's 
let's see. Do we want like some kind of like belts here? Eh, no. We can leave that until later. So now I'm gonna go into relays and sort of fix up all this area down here. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but um, I mean, it looks good as the way it is. But there's just some areas that need to be resolved a little bit. Okay, get this sort of knee brace a little figured out. That's kind of cool. So like it's kind of sort of two layers to it, like so. So again, I'm taking my time with the drawing so that the painting stage is fun, essentially. And uh, because this is kind of a hard, hard pose, I mean, you know, it's badass, badass chick, like, let's see. Yeah, I like that. Make that a little bit bigger. Um, you know, sitting on a, on a complex bike that, you know, I have to figure out the bike as well because there's no, there's no hard reference for a, um, this type of floating bicycle that I want to make or mo motorbike. But, you know, you'd be surprised actually if you Googled, um, you know, hovering motorcycle, there's actually quite a lot of reference, but not this exact hover bike that I'd like to make. So let's see, let's just add like a little, some tertiary details. Tertiary. And uh, one thing I used to do is, um, and I still do it sometimes if the style calls for it, is uh, I'll go in, I'm gonna make a new layer really quick, bump this down. And I'll go in with, with what I, my other uh, most used tool, the clean as a whistle sharp. And I'll add a black outline to everything. And this is, you know, obviously I do a lot better, but something I do on occasion, like when I'm doing more of a comic book kind of look. But this is this is more of a painting. I want this to look. I want this to be a painting, painting. So I'm not gonna do that, bitch. Stupid bitch. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna get back to my pencil. I'm gonna put the size. So Photoshop kind of failed me. You used to be able to, um, uh, oh no, I put those, I put that thing down. I hate this. I never know how to get rid of it. Oh, I guess I just kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> Damn it. Anyone know how to get rid of that? Let's see. Um, choo -choo -choo. Oh, how do we get rid of that? Maybe view? Extras? Yes, there it is. Cool. So let's see. Let's jump in here and let's make some cool knee stuff. So just to keep in mind perspective, we're looking more or less up at the leg. So the lines are somewhat curved 
and only until they come down here will they be not curved. So I'm just going to kind of give myself some reference lines. Uh, just to kind of show how it is curving because the thing is, is if we um, you know if we uh, have everything play I'll play nicely with our perspective all the line work, the every th little line that you make that follows the perspective helps the perspective in the end. And I just noticed that this is kind of peeking out a little too far. And that means that this is probably Such a B A. All right. Uh, so again, I'm not going to try to get too hung up on all these details in here. But I do want it to be pretty detailed. So if anything, I'm going to work more on the silhouette. This is in front, not behind. Okay, just arriving at her boot now. And I was thinking like this, maybe even like some stray straps. Just to kind of show that she doesn't she doesn't give a fuck. hardest thing to draw in the universe are in fact feet. You know it's true actually that feet are the hardest thing to draw in the universe and I'm not making that up. Maybe I am. But goddamn they are difficult. I've literally filled my sketchbook with drawings of feet. Let's see, maybe like some kind of boot type. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Some kind of boot type boot thing. And let's see, I want to start putting in some more straps here in the leg. A 
this little guy's back again. Go away. I really don't know how to get rid of it for good. I feel like I know just about almost everything. I know a lot about this program, Photoshop. I've been using it for years, but at that one thing, I do not know how to get rid of it. And I'm talking about this, this, this guy. I can get rid of it temporarily by pressing Control H, but then it always comes back to haunt my dreams. All right, let's get this strap in there. A little less prominent in the middle. All right. Just to kind of keep ourselves motivated, I'm going to check out where we're coming from. So I just saved. Now I'm going to jump back to when we first opened it. So you see it looks a little bit more squat. This is lower. And now she's looking a lot more elegant, looking a lot more tough up in the face. Go away. Some tertiary details up there, just to show that that is that is indeed something. It's not just a shape. It tends to help. Okay. So go away. I'm doing the best I ever did. You know that song? like the bottom the bottom of the boot actually that comes out a little bit her alien boots oh it's horrendous okay that is doable Looks like a silly character. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just leave it the way it is, and maybe it'll be fixed. Oh, look, it's back again. Oh. Problem I'm going to leave to my future self. Dear Max in the future, please do something about the boot. Actually, doesn't look that bad. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. So here. We need to change this to conform with what we got going on up here. And uh, I mean, this process is kind of, you know, I probably should have finished this drawing and then started the live stream because this process is pretty, you know, I don't think it's boring. It is pretty, like, you know, it's the kind of thing you can listen to podcasts or an audiobook and, and pay pretty close attention. I'm doing the best I ever did. But it's okay, because I'm, I'm really entertaining, so. And I'm really witty too. That's one. That's another thing that my friends tell me, just how witty I am. 
Okay, I'm going crazy. So, yeah, so that shape comes down like that. Oh my god. Holy crap. And, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. She's looking mighty. See the thing I'm the thing I'm really going for here is bad assery people. That's what I'm going for. Bad assery. Exclamation point. I should just <laughs> I should just <laughs> I should just leave it like that. Just bad assery. Done. Save. No, that's ridiculous. That's just insane. And look, it's back again. Uh, oh. All right, let's get serious here. So there's a little something that I noticed that will most likely be a problem. But let's keep working on our drawing. Let's say it's been an hour. Huh. It's been an hour, people. People. So let's go ahead and just finish this up. Let's finish up this leg. I'm doing the best job I ever did. Oh, I think you just got a peek at my reference. Okay. I'm gonna rotate a little bit so I can get that curve. Because if you can see my setup. to well no it is conducive it's conducive for everything my setup it's just it's weird all right let's see let's, let's make just the line of the leg you know, so before adding all these tertiary details I'm just gonna make the line of the leg and let's see so it looks like this is longer than this. Oh yeah, it's much longer. So let's, um, oh my God, go away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer and we'll go red. And I like, let's see. I mean, this is kind of insanely long. So I should, let's see what happens. Let's measure it from here to top of the shoe. Oh yeah, it's much longer. So if I go to my sketch and bring this up, Let's see. Ah, unfortunately, I feel like I feel like we're missing out on some of that elegance. Maybe, maybe we can kind of split the difference, you know, and and just kind of have it halfway. Not so much that we lose that length. But not too much that it looks ridiculous. All right, let's start carving out the foot now. Oops, that's right. I need to. 
revert back to my original colors. And let's pull this in. And the pant leg. That for the pantaloons, da -da 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 -da. I don't know why I have that Godsmack song stuck in my head. It's probably because it's such a good damn song. Riding down the best road. So go away, you. Okay. I mean, the difference isn't that much. And besides, if anything, it's it's different because of the perspective. I'm just gonna say that it's different because of the perspective. And you know, I think it's okay to. I mean, if something works, you know, not everything needs to be. 100% correct. That's kind of some of the, the, the freedom that we have in painting and drawing is, you know, we can, we can accentuate things. And, you know, exaggerate, push proportions. Nice. Yeah, now this is just, now this is just fun. I feel like this painting is, or this drawing has reached the stage where now it's just enjoyable. But I shouldn't, huh, it's funny I'm saying that, I should not say that because most likely, um, I'll be jinxing myself. And I do believe in that. I'm somewhat superstitious about celebrating too early. I always feel like if you celebrate too early, you will be bit in the ass. No matter how righteous you are. Let's see. Can we do something like that? Like, you know. Add some coolness in the shoes. That's kind of neat. Add some kind of thing right there. Add some other kind of thing right there. And maybe even some sort of thing right there. I'm actually going to leave out some of these details at the bottom, like the teeth. I'm not even going to do that because I don't want to paint that in, right? So I'm just going to leave the shoe the way it is. Shoes. I love shoes. Guys, <laughs> let's get serious here. Leave a red in there. This is 
so much longer than that. I don't care. If it becomes a problem, I'll change it. But, you know, I don't wholeheartedly think that it'll be like a super issue. Super issue. Let's make some loose straps here too. So we have like uh, some continuity. you don't figure everything out on one thing um, for instance like this foot over here I didn't figure it all out but I figured it out over here and I really like what's going on with this with this shoe right there so I'm just gonna copy that to the best of my ability, which is definitely not subpar. I like to brag. I think it's hilarious. You know, you never really run into many people who like truly brag. And it's always really exciting, you know, when you meet someone who's just like, oh, dude, like, I'm the best. Because then you're like, no way. I thought I was the best. No, nah, I just think it's funny. And I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on where you live. Like, maybe if you live in LA or something, you meet a lot of people who are just like, oh, dude, I'm going to be the next big thing. Not here in Spain, Granada. Everybody here is rather pleasant. Oh, there it is again. Go away. All right. Man, 213. Uh, I can keep going. Can you keep going? I can keep going. Let's keep going. I'm going to go until 2.30. Call it quits because I don't know how much longer you can really watch me draw and and uh, enjoy yourself. You know, I mean, shouldn't you be working right now? How come you're watching this? Maybe you are working and you're watching this. It's the morning, probably where you are. It's not over here. It's mid afternoon. Bam. Cool. So this is the level that, like, uh, in here, that's the level of where I want to get the drawing. I don't want it to be more detailed than that. Because, you know, after a while, you just kind of have to finish the painting. Can't be noodling away on the drawing forever. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to lose. That nice silhouette. Go away. So I doubt we'll finish the drawing here. I severely doubt it. 
which is a bummer because I wanted you to join me in the painting process. But in the last live stream, I, I went from a drawing to um, to a finished piece, and I really didn't like the piece. You know, it's not something I would use for a portfolio. Definitely not. I'd keep it as far away as possible. Um, if you want to find it, I actually can't help you. I don't know where to find it. It's somewhere on YouTube. And let's see. So the crotch is here. So that means it needs to be radiating out like that. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And maybe we can give her some sort of a belt. Go away. Let's give her a belt. And a waist. Typically in my house, I have a song of the day. And it usually just comes around by accident. Me and my girlfriend. We'll just burst into spontaneous song. It's a habit I've picked up. Living or growing up with my family. Especially my mom, she always, she always broke into spontaneous song. So it's just something I cannot help. But I think right now, the song of the day is Go Away by Godsmack. Or no, or I'm doing the best I ever did. I actually don't even know what the song is called. And is that Godsmack? I think it is. Pretty sure it's Godsmack. Hell, I hope it is. Because if it's not, then I'll be severely disillusioned. Severely disillusioned. Let's see. I don't think we need that second belt. That second sash, whatever that is. Second sash. Okay, just adding some small details into the belt there. Ah, oh, dude. Would you fuck with this girl? I certainly wouldn't. I'd be like, eh, hey, hi. And then she'd probably take my lunch money. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I just can't help it. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm tired. I tend to do that when I'm when I'm getting restless. I go crazy. Okay, this needs to be rectified. I'm gonna put my eraser in a forty, and I can do that by pressing four on the keyboard while my eraser is selected. It's a very helpful tip. It's extremely helpful. If anything, that's the most helpful tip I've given you all day. If you've learned anything from this, realize that you can change the opacity of brushes by pressing a number on the keyboard. Number on the keyboard. I'm 
also changing the sizes with the bracket keys, which is also very helpful. Is it okay to say that I'm kind of, I think I'm falling for this girl and her, and her toughness? You know, as the drawing sort of evolves, especially when you're working on a character, I think it's good if you start kind of feeling the character, like, you know, who they are, what their personality is like, their likes and their dislikes. what they do when no one's watching. Because once you can get to that level with a character, then, well, they have character. Of the head in there. I don't think I'm actually gonna make her head too complicated. kind of has like an 80s vibe going on. And the 80s vibe is super hot right now, so. Is it still hot? I think it is. Or now is it just the, like the totally weird flamboyant, strange flamboyancy that seems to be where things are now. That's good enough for that part, at least. There's a lot more to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll even go into her lips. Go buy them. This bitch will kill you. All right. Let's do some meaningless touch ups here. All right. Uh, I'm almost done with her, which is exciting. Um, or at least I think I am. I don't know. I'll probably look at this again and realize that I'm not. But I sort of have, you know, I, I before I had an idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of this. So I'm going to go in and make some changes. And if I don't like them, I can just jump back to the snapshot. And I'm going to save. So I had initially, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Huh. Just sort of just like big old visors. Hmm. That's actually kind of neat. 
Uh, okay, let's try what we're just gonna do. It's sort of like a And let's put this circle just a little bit higher because she's looking up slightly. Oh, that's a little big. And just a little bit, uh, you know, just kind of giving hints of its roundness. That's kind of cool too. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave that the way it is because that's easy enough to change. I'm going to play some like, like heavy 80s techno music. I just saw Blade Runner. The newer one, which was awesome, by the way. I heard people say it was boring, but I forgot who said it was boring. You know what? You're wrong. So yeah, so this will have. OK, that's why this isn't working. Because if that comes out to there, that needs to come out to here. This line to there. And then obviously we need something like that because that'll be flat at the bottom there. Man, I don't even think I have it in me to, to work on that. Um, Man, maybe what I can do, you know what, it's 2.30, it's been an hour and 30 minutes. I think I might just, just call it. It's just some small things that I can fix. So, I mean, looking at this now, this drawing is taking a long time, but I think it's okay because, you know, typically good things take a long time. And it's good to get some patience or to learn patience when working on these types of images. Um, and what's fun is that this is, is essentially coming out exactly the way I wanted it to, just the way I had it in my head. Let's see, I'm gonna make a couple more changes here and include you in on them. Make this just a bit bigger. So it's about the same size as that boot. And Let's see what we can come up with with this hand really quick. So I want her to have like a nice cool glove, right? Go away. Um, and if she's going to have a nice cool glove, we need to figure out the hand. So this hand, I don't think will be too not in too complex of a position. But hands can always be rather tricky. Okay, I like that. So let's just, I zoomed out to check out the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, man, I'm really drawing a blank here. This is insanity. Oh, this just never happens. I'm just kidding. It happens all the time. The proportion. The proportion of the hand. So, hands sort of curve, right? The knuckles 
curve a little bit and they curve away from the sort of the middle finger. So the middle finger usually has the, the, the most prominent spot. Okay, so we'll set that up. And I want this, so there's always two, there's two knuckles and then the end. And I want that finger to be sort of like lazy. And the other fingers to start curling in a little bit more. Now as I draw this, I'm going to keep on zooming out just to make sure I'm not losing the um, got it for, for proportion. Holy moly. Okay, and so I'm kind of setting up this sort of like infinity gauntlet kind of, you know, finger system here. And this is a good way to block out your fingers. So let's see, I'm just kind of check out my own hand. Okay, and this pinky here, this will actually be a little bit closer in. going to be super anal and flip this. Anal. And do this. Okay. Yeah, you can tell I'm really concentrating because I'm not saying anything. Let's see how that turned out. Huh. Kind of weird. Um, let's remove some of all some of these lines in here and sort of simplify what's going on and just see if the hand is sort of coming out the way we want it to and actually it doesn't look that bad and we can give some impression of the thumb but what I want here is You know, sort of like this kind of fingerless glove look. Because, you know, she's just that cool that she's got fingerless gloves. Let's see. Think I'm losing it, people. Let's see. Fingerless gloves. How do they. You know what? I'm actually just going to open up reference. And you're not going to see the reference. Sorry. So let's see. Leather gloves. You can see what I'm doing. I wonder if she should have like, hmm. 
What if she had gloves? Like that, you know? Like these kind of gloves. These kind of love gloves. These were always cool. Brahm would approve. Gerald Brahm would approve. All these people, all you people who know about Brahm, please. Please agree with me that Brom, Gerald Brom, would approve of this maneuver I'm about to pull. Gerald Brizom. I wonder what he's up to these days. You don't know Gerald Brom, first of all, shame on you. And second of all, check him out. He's an amazing artist. Basically the guy who got me started. All right, so, oops. Leather gloves are interesting because they have these Okay, like some things I'm doing here, uh, I believe this is another, another thing that I'm going to leave until I come back to this drawing because I'm almost spent here. I'm just about spent, people. And, you know, I've been drawing for about two hours. No, not two hours, hour and a half, which isn't that long, I guess. But, uh, you know, I wonder how you, if it, if like, if how you build up stamina for drawing, drawing stamina. I used to have a lot more of it in school. Now I think I have a little bit less, but just a little bit. Because I think in the creative stages of a drawing, it's more like a sprint. And, and then the rest of it, all the cleaning up and what have you, is a, go away, is a marathon, really. It's just a slow, slow process. But again, you know, I think this will work out because if you have a good drawing, if you've got a good drawing, I'd like to say that you'll have a good painting. That's a quote of mine, actually. It's written down somewhere, I think in the Library of Congress, I think. But if you've got a good drawing, it's that much easier to do your painting. And for me personally, I rely heavily on my drawing skills. Uh, my painting has always suffered a little bit. What if, what if this was like a, what if this was, ooh, yeah. And now, yeah, so it's like, so she's got these, She's got fingerless gloves on a let's try to make this more like a finger. Fingerless gloves with a Uh, which I'm gonna call it this type of glove. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. It's kind of a mess. But yeah, oh, not the text. Not the text. People, it's 2:40 in Spain, and I'm still drawing. This is not good. All right, 
that is that. So the next time you see this, hopefully the whole thing will be done. What happens if we make her hand a little bit bigger? I guess I'm not done yet. I guess I'm not spent. Even bigger. Better. Biome. And maybe even like so. That's the great thing about Photoshop. You can't cut and paste in the real world. Well, you can, but it's a big pain in the ass. Go away. All right. We are done for now. And by the time you come back, there will probably be some other changes, but hopefully not too much. Much too much. But yeah, how fun, huh? Well, oh, that's that. <sighs> so now, from here, the thing, the she's, I, I think she's done. Really, I mean, all I'm doing now is just peppering her with some extra line work, but she's finished. And I think in the painting process, if there's any more details that I find interesting or things that I feel like I should include, I will include them. But for now, she's ready for painting. The bike, on the other hand, needs more work, especially in here where the motor is like I want this to be like a big kind of scary looking motor with you know I want it to look like something that if you put your hand in it your hand will get ripped apart and I want to resolve this I want to make this look more like a some sort of hover bike um, and it's kind of looking like that and then also I want to get the background going and right now I have a really light sketch of the background um, but it's there and the idea is there and the perspective is there too um, and all the form is there and this is we're, we're, we're in a really good position right now um, and the way I know that is because I have um, uh, I'm excited to go in and you know, start adding, start adding some shadow, and you know, once I start doing stuff like this, um, you know, like really quickly, like we already see just how far, you know, something like this can progress. Just for example. And down here, this was unintentional, but like the line work is a little bit more, um, a little bit lighter. So, you know, so if you're getting the sense that like she's sort of dusty down here. So, um, yeah, I think this will be a really strong, strong growing. I'm going to come back to it over the next couple of days and maybe I'll live stream those as well. Um, just to kind of keep it going, like a live stream series or something. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I just kind of got started. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's where we are right now. So until next time, take care of yourselves. <laughs>